Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft, where in my last command block video, I made lightsabers in Minecraft, and I made five of them in total, but in Star Wars, there is one lightsaber that kind of stands out above the rest, and that is the dark saber, so yeah, I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> So just like before, I'm using this lightsaber texture pack. It's actually the same texture pack that I used in my last creation. Um, and of course, it's made by just Tim. And uh, yeah, there will be a link for the original pack in the description, but I've modified it so that instead of just uh, you needing to rename the lightsaber or rename like a netherite sword, uh, then it depends on the lore. So yeah, now I've got the lightsaber on texture and then also the lightsaber off. Now the way we're going to get the dark saber is a little bit different than the lightsaber because with the lightsaber you threw two iron ingots, one nether star, and six iron nuggets on the ground. And then you get one out of the three light side ones, and then if you throw those exact same items on top of wither rose, then you get one of the dark side ones. Now the crafting recipe for the dark saber is instead going to be two netherite ingots, one nether star, and eight iron nuggets. Now this is way, way more expensive with two netherite ingots. But, at the same time, it's gonna be way, way more powerful, so yeah, it kinda like equals out. So I guess now I'm just gonna make a way to get the dark saber, so I'm just gonna copy this command block, this command block, this command block, and this command block from the lightsabers. So now if I just throw two netherite ingots, eight iron nuggets, and then one nether star right here, then nothing happens. Why? Oh, I need to convert them. Alright, so now everything should be working, so now if I throw two netherite ingots, one nether star, and eight iron nuggets there, then I get the darksaber hilt. Now the darksaber has got the lightsaber tag, and uh, this here is then the same tag as I used in my lightsaber creation, because in this command it says that it'll reset the trigger command that turns it on and off for all players that isn't holding a tag or an item with the tag of lightsaber 1b. Uh, so then I'll kind of have to keep it on. But then speaking of turning the lightsaber on and off, I think it's time to do that now. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue copying commands from this creation, and then pasting them in, and then now I'm just gonna convert these command blocks again. Alright, so now I've finally converted all of the commands, so now if I do slash trigger lightsaber on slash off, then it becomes the light or then it becomes the dark saber on. Now you might have noticed there that um, the attack speed is very, very slow. Now I'll get onto that later, um, but yeah, so now I can use the exact same command as I used with the other lightsabers um, for for this thing, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. But then now to the reason why the Dark Saber's attack speed is so slow, and this is because I want you to be able to like slowly get more and more attack speed. Um, so that is kind of like how in the Mandalorian, you need to really like use the Dark Saber before you get to actually be able to use it. So for example, with Jaren, um, then like he hasn't really like connected with it, so then uh, it feels really heavy for him and he can't really use it as well. But then for other Mandalorians, then like they can use it perfectly. Fine. Fine. So then the way I'm going to do that is by making so that when you kill a mob with the dark saber, then you get like a little bit of attack speed to it every single time. So then you kind of need to use the dark saber to become better at using the dark saber, I guess. Uh, there's just one teeny tiny problem with that. It's fucking hard, and I've got no idea how I'm supposed to do it. So then instead of that, I'll just do the easy route, which is just going to be a timer that slowly goes up, and then the timer is going to be equal to the dark saber's attack speed. So then I'll add in the scoreboard dark saber attack speed. That's going to be a dummy, and then I'll make so that the scoreboard constantly goes up by one so now if i just press done then as you can see there then it constantly goes up by one every tick and then i'll also add this to make that now if i hold the dark saber or the dark saber is just in my inventory then the scoreboard goes up but if i drop the dark saber then the scoreboard stops going up then what i'll do is that i'll copy these two commands which are the commands that turn the lightsaber on and then i'll just paste them in maybe like five times or something and then i'll add in the scoreboard's dark saber speed one two three four and five all of them being dummy and then i'll set dark saber saber speed 1 to for example 1800 so then you will get higher attack speed after one and a half minutes and then speed 2 can be 3000 so then after another minute after then again and then i'll put speed 3 to 5400 so then two minutes on top of that again and then i'll make speed 4 be 11400 which is five minutes on top of the other one uh, because uh, on speed 3 that's i'm pretty sure that's then like the normal attack speed for just like normal swords and stuff and then finally i'll set speed 5 to 13800 which is two more minutes on top of that again and then what i'll do is if the score of at s and then dark saber attack speed 
um, is no is less than at S and then dark saber speed one and then give it uh, the like super slow dark saber and then on the next command block I'll do if the score of at S and then dark saber attack speed um, is more than at S and then dark saber speed one but also if the score of at S dark saber attack speed is um, is less than at S dark speed uh, uh, dark saber attack speed two then give it one that's a little bit faster than the first one then instead of it being minus 3.5 it's maybe just minus three and then I'll repeat this process for all of the commands I'm just changing the attack speed uh, by minus 0.5 every time now yes the attack speed doesn't automatically update uh, just when you're holding it you need to turn it on and off and stuff and th that can be a little bit annoying but I think it's fine you know like yes I know that most people are aren't ever gonna turn the lightsaber off um since like why would you really but like i feel like it's fine you know it's fine <laughs> don't worry about it it's fine it's really not fine so anyways now that that's totally working and it's totally flawless now i want to turn your attention to how the dark saber doesn't have the enchantment glint like all of the other lightsabers has and that's because this time, I want to try and actually make it so that you can rename it, enchant it, do all of that stuff. And it'll keep its enchantments. Now, I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not, but you know, it's worth a try, right? It's worth a try. <laughs> like you tried the attack speed. <laughs> so first, I'll just rearrange the command so that I'll have space for everything. And then I'll summon in an armor stand on this gold block. And then I'll modify this command to make it so that then when you do the slash rear command, then that armor stand gets uh, gets the dark saber hilt in its main hand that you just had and what I can then do is just hopefully do a data command uh, to make that then all of the MBT data from um, from the dark saber hilt will then be in the dark saber blade so I'm pretty sure that a data command like this will do it um, so like I feel like it'll work if just like in between here uh, it just shows like just the MBT data of the item that the player is holding uh, and then in here it's the MBT data that the armor stand is holding I'm pretty sure that'll work so yeah I'll see you guys in like five hours then when it inevitably doesn't work Alright, so now it's the next day in real life, and this has taken so, so long. Uh, like, I think I spent like three and a half hours yesterday just trying to make it work, and I didn't even manage to make it work, because I genuinely think it's impossible to make it so that you can rename or enchant the item, and then it'll still be renamed and enchanted when you, tu uh, like when you turn the lightsaber on slash off. So, like, I genuinely think it's impossible. So now if I just turn it on then it still hasn't got the enchantment glint because I figured out a way to do it. And I also made it so that all of the lightsabers also don't have the enchantment glint. So the way that I did that was that I just removed the enchantment glint from all items. So yeah, this here's an enchanted book. Doesn't look that much enchanted, does it? And the reason that I didn't just keep the enchantment glint like I did with the lightsabers was because, like, it's really, really noticeable on the dark saber. Like, on the lightsabers, yeah, you can see it on the hilt a little bit, but, like, in the actual saber, it, like, it wasn't that noticeable because it's already got an animation and it's kind of, like, see-through and stuff. But with the dark saber, it's not see-through, it hasn't got an animation, and it's completely black. So then the purple of the enchantment glint really just stood out. So I kind of had to remove it, and, like, I think it's fine. And if you don't think it's fine for me to make enchanted items be indistinguishable from unenchanted items, then shut up, you little bit. Now, the next thing they want to do is to make so that there can only be one dark saber in the world at a time, so that there can't just be multiple people running around with the same dark saber in their hands. So for that, I'll add in the scoreboard dark saber make it, that's gonna be a dummy. And then in the command that summons in the dark saber when you make it, I'll do s at a, uh, and then unless the score of at s dark saber make matches one, then summon it in. So then uh, only if dark saber make is zero, uh, or like I can't actually detect that for some weird reason, but then if it isn't one, then it's not gonna summon it in. And then I'll add a command at the end of the chain that just does scoreboard players set uh, and then just at a and then dark saber make to one. So now if I just make another dark saber, so I throw two netherite ingots, one nether star, which looks pretty 
weird without the enchantment gland uh, and then eight iron nuggets then as you can see there then the dark saber make is one uh, so now if i try and make another one then as you can see there nothing happens then the next thing that i want to make is that you can't just give someone the dark saber you need to like earn it in combat or something so i've headed over here to my wand creation and then i'm gonna copy this command block and then i'm gonna paste it in as a repeating command block and then i'm gonna change the harry potter wand to a dark saber like that and now if i try and drop this then I can't. So yeah, now you can't uh, just like give someone the dark saber. You need to either earn it in combat, or you could theoretically just place it in the chest and then take it out of it again. But you know, uh, we don't talk about that, okay? <laughs> and now I'd say that the dark saber is finally completed. Like I'm pretty sure that I've got everything uh, that I was going to make, right? Um. Oh wait, sound effects. Alright, so now all of the sound effects are in, and now this is a lot bigger, uh, but this is then how it sounds. So when you activate the lightsaber, it comes to block fire extinguish sound effect at 0.4 volume and 1.5 pitch. And then I also use the entity blaze death at uh, 0.25 volume and 0.8 pitch. And then I'm also using the entity ally item throne at point uh, or at 1.4 volume and 1.75 uh, pitch. And then for when you turn it off, it's the block beacon deactivate sound at 0.75 volume and 2 pitch. And then I'm also using the block fire extinguish at uh, 3 volume and 1.5 5 pitch and then i'm also using the entity la hurt at 0.3 volume and 0.3 pitch and then the sound effects for when you make the dark saber uh, is the entity villager work toolsmith at a uh, normal volume and normal pitch and then it's also the block beacon power select at 0.4 volume and 0.9 pitch and then the sound effect for when you just hold the dark saber it comes to block beacon ambient sound at 0.8 volume and 2 pitch so that's then all of the sound effects and i'm pretty happy with them like i know that uh, the turning on sound effects is a little bit weird and uh, like you know it doesn't come to idle sound when you have it in your main hand and stuff like that but i think that's fine you know it's just like tiny details i guess um but yeah i guess there's also gonna be everything for this video because i don't really know what more i could add um so yeah if you enjoyed it then just remember there's a button for that but yeah that's gonna be everything for this video so bye